There are many preset color bars in InSight, but most users will edit their own colors at some point. This 2D volume has been assigned to the Fill Stack class and is currently using a gray ramp for color. I want to highlight the extreme high and low amplitudes on this section to mark places that may have amplitude anomalies, or perhaps data loading clipping. After opening the class panel and selecting the Full Stack class, I right click and select Enable Editing. The color bar now shows some editable nodes. Clicking on a node allows me to change the color. Clicking the space between nodes will add a new node which also requires a new color. Dragging a node will move it to a new position. By adding a green node at the end of the ramp, I can highlight the most positive values. To highlight the most negative values, I click on the lowest value and change the color to pink. I then add a new white node and slide it as close to the endpoint as possible. One last edit for the green peak, and the edited color map is finished, highlighting the brightest peaks and troughs. Switching to a map view, I can now edit the horizon colors. The time horizon defaults to the time class, which is currently displaying a classic rainbow color bar. Right clicking shows an invert option, which can be used to flip a color bar, but that is not what I want to do. I want to build a new color bar with darker greens and darker blues. Quite often it is quicker to start with a blank canvas instead of editing multiple existing nodes. Right clicking the new option resets the color bar to a grey ramp. This is a handy tip and trick for quickly resetting seismic trace displays. Right click again and this time select edit. Click to add the first node. There is a standard color palette to choose from, or if you want to be more specific, choose one of the custom color palettes, such as hue saturation value, hue saturation light, red, green, blue, or cyan, magenta, yellow, black. I will use the RGB palette and mix the proportions of red, green, and blue to make the colors I need. Add the next node and repeat. Keep adding nodes and editing the colors until the color bar is complete. That was the last edit. Right clicking again allows me to export the color bar to a file so that it can be used in other projects and sessions if required. Disabling editing to finish. It is also possible to adjust the opacity. The whole color bar can be made transparent using the class opacity slider. As the opacity is reduced, it is possible to see the gravity map culture data below the horizon. It is also possible to adjust the opacity of individual nodes. Edit the color bar and select a node. Moving the opacity slider on the right side to zero will set that node to be transparent. This can be repeated for multiple nodes. Any edits applied to the color bar affect the same object in all views such as the 3D view seen here. To reset the edits, simply right-click and load the exported color bar. One more trick for the color bar is to insert a dark node, which can be used as a marker. This color bar has a very dense node spacing, 
which keeps the marker node sharp. Click and add the black node. Carefully select the black node and drag it up and down the color bar, watching the marker contour update in the map view. When finished, the node can be deleted and the editing session finished. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with insight!